questioning. Here is the Open Thinking Dude podcast, broadcasting on Spreaker and iHeartRadio. Ladies and gentlemen, the bit of a show. Wow. How is everybody this day, September 30th, the last day of September 2014? Well, I am not doing my brief talk on something show. I created a new show called Targeted News. And I just want to say, this is for specifically targeted individuals. A little bit of update, not to complain, but to document what goes on in my life. Um, it, it's so It's so hilarious, not really, but... Sometimes we just got to be comical, guys, to all the targeted individuals um, that we got to fight, and and we got to understand what we're up against. And today, today, guys, was a patient of nerves. See, I'm excited. I'm not happy for my freedoms and, and what I have to deal with. But I'm excited because I am not on that side. You're not on that side. You have a conscience. You have a brain. The thing is, we have to learn how, excuse me, we have to learn how to be unconditioned. And there are a lot of ways to be unconditioned. Uh, I think probably previous uh, targeted uh, shows and calls have done a, have done a lot of uh, have had a lot of information on like meditations and, and the noise campaign things like that. But before I get into a, like a solution, I want to get into uh, targeted news for today. Well, today I went to to get some money out and put some money in uh, my wife's account or my account actually not my wife's anyways when I got the money and and I got to the bank I put in my deposit and you know I put in my password you know yada yada everything was smooth and then it says wrong password so I did it twice and then I said I'm not gonna do it again uh, because once it is, it's blocked. So I went to uh, talk to one of the uh, representatives of that bank, my bank that I uh, I use, and he said he looked over it and uh, unblocked it where I could we could go over it again. He was right there, looking over my shoulder, and it said notes were bad. The this is the third time, and then we did it again. And it said passcode or password invalid. And so we went back and he did paperwork and stuff. And basically, in the next day or two, I'm supposed to get another one and then uh, have a new password. And I need to go down there and refill it out or, you know, fill it out and blah, blah, blah. And then get the, to have a normal baking again. But you know, and I know. As targeted individuals, you know they infiltrated and somehow messed their little hands and did that. And I'm not here to complain. I'm not complaining. I'm just documenting, man. Women who are involved. Uh, for me, this is new. For other targets, this is that's probably uh, ice in the bucket. But for me, it was kind of new. And but what's helped me? is to understand the bigger picture, to read and to start studying about the esoteric. And uh, I do want to give a plug in to Crazy Wolf Radio, which is on Spreaker.com. Crazy Wolf Radio, and I don't know the host whole name, his whole name, but I think it's Bob. It might be Brutus, I don't know. But anyways, very uh, excellent man to understand wisdom of the esoteric. So it's late night in the Midlands with Michael Vera and Ryan Gables. So I give them plugins. Very articulate too, with their knowledge. But back to this. 
So anyways, and I don't drive where I'm at here in the Netherlands. So anyways, they said, we'll get you a new car, but I have to pay, you know, you know how you have to, it's in the month, you got to pay all these bills, you got certain bills you got to pay by like uh, the first day of the month, second day of the month. So I had to get on the bus and go to an, the next town over and walk and and yada yada, not, not yada yada. So I got there, had to wait a little bit, but then, because it was in Dutch, not, my Dutch is not really good. And so I did, and I got everything. It was done. And then did a little shopping, and got a little something to eat, and came right back home. I was gone for about three hours. But within those three hours, I'll tell you, when I got out of the, the um, bank, my bank, there wasn't any uh, abnormal perps around, you know. Anyways... So, but the representative of the bank, my bank I use, showed me to go over like a half a block, a block to the bank my wife uses. So, I get there, and I, I rush the story. I had to go to the next town to my wife's bank because the, the bank in the town I live in, their deposit machine is down. Whoa, lo and behold. At the same time, it, it, it's kind of weird what's what happens. I, I I'm not gonna throw any darts or accusations, but what a coincidence! A uh, couple times with the card that I had my wife's card using, there was the ATM machine has went out when I needed to get something, some money out of her machine, or out of her ATM, or out of her bank card with the ATM. I'm sorry, my wording. But it, it, it's it's really uh, sad. And if you're a target, you know what's going on. You know people are missing in the system. And it could be one of the banks. They have corrupt people. They have corrupt people. They really do have corrupt people. Every agency has the rogue and corrupt people. But I want to take a break and finish on about the story in a minute. And you are listening to the Open Thinking You podcast on Spreaker.com. On this radio show or podcast show, we're not. I'm not on iHeart. I'm just on Spreaker, so that's why I didn't say iHeart. Sorry about the. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Watch out, Brooks. The things you do will always be called. We're all guilty. Yes, we are. So remember, okay. question. anywhere I just do in my little two piece freestyle stupid rap with that uh, beat of sonic impulse yeah but back to what I was saying um, after I got from my bank to my wife's bank which is like I said a block away their system was down so I talked to one of the guest or guest representatives. That's what they call it, something like that. Guest representative, and he was talking. We talked a little bit, and then when I left the building, because to go to their branch in the town over, I was waiting at the bus stop, and I seen I knew they were perps, 
and one had a phone and saying, looked at me, and then he was talking. And you could just tell if you're a target, you understand it. But it's laughable. I didn't miss talking about it to document it. Not to, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> you know, and it's so sad and frightening at the same time. Maybe laughable, but that's a paradox. I seen a mom and her kid, and the kid was on the phone, and they said American, because they know I'm American, because I got the, you know, you know how the uh, the messages from the handlers come in to these people that work for uh, gift cards, a uh, little bit of money, drugs, whatever, but they're using kids. This girl must have been 9 to 11 years old. That's sad. I mean... I just feel sad. We need to have a uh, a perp campaign. I'm thinking about uh, well, I can't tell you. Then they might uh, uh, get get with it and start it. So, anyways, can't really say that. I just want to tell you though, there are solutions, and it's been regurgitated. Not in the sense of that I'm not using that word in a bad way, but been used and reused, but we still need to keep speaking on this over and over. No uh, no matter if it's really simple and basic that a five-year-old, seven-year-old can understand. We, uh, we as targets need to get our message out. So, it, it's just funny. And one of the things I'm learning is to meditate and and to understand esoteric history. Once you understand the history, then you would understand the thoughts. And these people that are working for these people are being used and be being basically bitch left. But the esoteric is the understanding of the elite and how they're doing things and why targeting is one of the reasons. It's coming from we want to be gods in the sense of smartness, human mind, that kind of guy. Not like God, it's like, I will do this and that will move. It's not like that. But that's what is going on. And these people have bought, line and sinker. If we would wake up and understand, we do have the power, even against these weapons. It's a mythical illusion of what they're trying to do. We un I understand that they can do whatever and they can't kill you. But if you're not afraid... If you if you if you are if you're afraid, then you cannot. Then I'm telling you what I'm. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to any targets. If you afraid, then and you we're all afraid. But if you choose to stay afraid and 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 don't get any kind of boldness or help and meditation, understand history and move forward to go against this plot, this plan, and you're afraid to die for this truth, to stand up for who you are and for freedom of the lands, then I'm, I'm just going to tell you what, you better just compromise. Go and compromise, okay? Just go and compromise. Because if you choose to stay that way, you you know, there's a choice. But if you don't understand and learn the patterns of, to uncondition the conditioning that they do through hand signals, colors, and noise campaigns, and understand these other ones with the direct energy weapons and so on, then, then compromise. We also, though, we need to have boldness and love towards our enemies. Not just for them to get away with it, but to know that any of them, there are some of them that have a conscience. There's some you don't. That's when you need to lay down the law. And it can happen. Eventually, they're going to shoot themselves in the foot. That's what happens to all of us. That's what happens to all of us. Sorry about this. That's what happens to all of us. When we go into... Uh, when, we, when we accept diabolical evil. And there's a force. I'm not saying there's a literal... Um, Satan... But there is a force, an energy, a power that draws people. And there is a duality. It's in Christianity, Islam. It's on all these monotheistic religions. So beware. Study the faith with questions. Question everything. Uh, and do these things. I just want to say 
you can make it. You can make it. And people, this is not like it used to be. You cannot put your head in the sand and say everything's okay. People that are that are uh, are being the uh, forcers of this targeting, it's coming back. The chemtrails, they're being destroyed too. They're all we're all grouped in this together. I ain't no one better than anybody, so open your eyes, question everything. Have some faith in and have peace. When you have a peace of mind, you can concentrate. I know for me, they, they scramble my brain. They like to scramble my brain sometimes. Uh, things like that, because I love to think. And, and those targets who love to think and be creative, they really want us. And those who are targets and ain't, but yet, you're creative in your own way that you've been gifted. They want to target you too. Because none of us are better than uh, one another. We're all in the same boat. We need to come together. I don't care if you're atheist, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, whatever. Come, We need to come together. we got to learn the game of the infiltration and the disinfo and confusion that splits up and divides and conquers. That's the whole goal. Superiority. And it's a myth and it can be exposed. And with that, I am out. Be have a blessed day. This is the Open Thinking You podcast on Speaker Radio. Have a blessed one, and remember, question everything. Mm-hmm.